tricolor flies high above the hills of South Armagh for in a travel country there's the God there and man on the aim the chase the Saxon forever from our land let cowards mock and trade the sneer for they don't understand Oh gallant Michael McFerry we'll never see you again the Republican standards raised above the hills of South Armagh the first battalion cross the glen has lost a leader brave for in Collyhan's old graveyard they've dug a martyr's grave that afternoon in Katie Town McFerry took a stand with the rockets, bombs and armor like guns a mighty battle did raise Oh volunteer Michael McFerry we'll never see you again the Republican standards raised above the hills of South Armagh he's gone to join his comrades and to the years have died and his native colony Hannah will remember him with pride we're down to the years when freedom's call had summoned Ireland's sons those rugged hills of South Armagh had echoed to the gone Oh, volunteer Michael McFerry, we'll never see you again. The Republican standards raised above the hills of South Armagh. Oh, volunteer Michael McFerry, we'll never see you again. The Republican standards raised above the hills of South Armagh. While I'm following a false car row of a carja, again, Kamaru, Erlina Shaw, Roglak, Mickey McVary, and Mario, Katragajak, Yaskor, or Gashak Mleno Hin. I'd like to start off this afternoon by welcoming everyone to this, the 47th anniversary commemoration of volunteer Michael McVary. 1st Battalion, South Armagh Brigade, Ogly Heron. As always, I would like to especially extend a warm welcome to the members of Michael's family that are with us today. And at this time, we remember Michael's loving sister, Carmel, who passed away recently. Carmel was steadfast in her support throughout the years and has always attended commemorations, despite being in ill health in recent years. Ginyana Gia Trokra, Arahanam. We come together this afternoon with great pride to celebrate the life of one of South Armagh's most outstanding sons, Michael McVary, a man who decided at an early age to dedicate himself to the freedom struggle and whose active service and bravery ensured that this area would become a place where enemy forces feared to tread. Born on the 1st of December 1949, Michael was reared in the townland of Scariff, receiving his early education at St. Patrick's Primary School and later in Bestbrook Tech. From an early age, it became apparent that young McVerry was a man with exceptional leadership qualities. He was a community man, involving himself with his local GEA club and displaying a flair for the dramatic arts in the area. He had a jovial nature and was well known for performing skits of political personalities of the time, and it wasn't long before he involved himself in Republican activism. 
He was bright and almost prophetically predicted that the day would come where we would need people to sit down and continue the Republican struggle in negotiations. South Armagh was a very different place in the early 1970s. The shooting dead of local man Harry Thornton in Belfast in 1971 brought the area into sharp focus. It caused a wave of revulsion and inspired a generation of volunteers into action. Michael McVary was to the fore in training and in pre preparing volunteers locally. Naturally, his exploits brought Mickey to the attention of the authorities both north and south. And after a while on the run, he was eventually captured and imprisoned in Mountjoy and later the Curra, where he took part in a hunger and thirst strike. On the 29th of October 1972, McVerry, along with six comrades, audaciously escaped from the Curra through a tunnel and returned to active service with the local volunteers of Ogley Naharan. In the months that followed, Michael McVerry grew to become one of the most experienced exponents of guerrilla warfare at that time and a hero locally among Republican circles. During this time, he lost a hand when a device he was handling exploded prematurely. But rather than go to America for treatment and fundraising, as his comrades advised, he insisted on continuing the struggle at home. Having read up on military histories, Mickey studied enemy, enemy movements and was usually one step ahead of the Brits. There were three major attacks on barracks in South Armagh in 1973 in which Michael McVerry played a leading role. The first was the Cross McGlen attack. This saw the Cross McGlen barracks attacked from two positions, from the square and from Conway Crescent. The second battalion set up the mortar on the square with machine gun fire from the top window of Chums. McVerry's first battalion attacked the rear of the barracks with sustained gunfire and rockets on the sentry posts and windows, while 25 mortars were launched from the square. All volunteers made good their escape and began to plan the next assault. The next was the attack on Fork Hill Barracks, which took the same course as in Cross McGlen, with both units involved. Split into two groups, Group A, led by McVerry, attacked from the northern end of the village, with a rocket launcher and small arms. Group B moved in front of the barracks and set up a Mark I mortar. As Group B began firing mortar shells into the barracks, McVerry's Group A were given the job of attacking the two sentry posts, one at the gable and one out from the main building. Both were partially destroyed and after a sustained attack, both groups withdrew and returned safely to base. The third was the attack on Katy Barracks. With the reports that RUC personnel in Katy were at a low level, it was felt that the barracks could be captured. Again, there were two groups involved, in two vans. McVerry led Group A and their van carried the main bomb. The plan was for Michael and another volunteer to carry the bomb into the barracks, where it would be detonated from the back of van A. Group B, B were the main assault force. They were detailed to take up position in the builder's yard across from the barracks until Michael rejoined them. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. When the volunteer in the back of Van A saw McVerry and his comrade run for cover, he detonated the bomb. The explosion took down half the front wall of the barracks, but Michael and his comrade came under fire from an upstairs window and Michael was badly injured. Hearing the call for assistance, Group B abandoned their planned assault and assisted in the rescue of Mickey and his comrade by providing cover fire on the barracks and a British Army helicopter which arrived on the scene. It took around 10 minutes for the rescue to take place. Michael was taken by car to Castle Blaney Hospital but sadly lost his life on the way. So confident was Mickey that the barracks could be taken that he had carried a tricolour that would be hoisted above the rubble of the barracks. Two days later, the same tricolour covered Michael's coffin as it was carried to St. Patrick's Cemetery in Cullihanna, where he was laid to rest. 
We have come a long way since that day in 1973. The foundations laid by Michael McVarry meant that the South Armagh Brigade of Ogley Naharan was to the fore in the war to drive the British out of Ireland. Our role of honour pays tribute to those brave volunteers who lost their lives in conflict. Others served lengthy prison sentences, while hundreds of others aided, assisted, supported and provided shelter throughout South Armagh. These efforts have brought us to where we are today. Now that the war is over, we have become the largest party on the island of Ireland. We have moved society to the brink of Irish unity and is it incumbent on us all to work together to secure a unity referendum for our country. It is only when our country is united and restored to its former glory that we can pay a fitting tribute to Michael McVary and those he inspired. 47 years may have passed since his untimely death, but his memory will live on forever in the minds of everyone who knew this ordinary young man living in the most extraordinary of times. Finally, I would like, on behalf of the Michael McVary Common, to thank everyone who helped out at this online commemoration. Goromila my Ogava Karja, Asa Violin and you, Eowideev, Slan, August Bannacht. that I've written. It's called Mickey McVerry. Um, this gentleman was a relation of my mother's from County Armagh. So I hope you enjoy this. The Ballad of Mickey McVerry. From the rolling hills of South Armagh, my cousin, he did hate He fought with all he had And he did his best to free his land This rebel Irish lad Oh, I never met you, Michael You died before my time In a cold November of 73 You put it on the line I arrived here six months later, but you'd already gone. And I grew up hearing stories of our bravest Irish son. On the first day of December in 1949, you were born into a family who'd love you for all time a little place called Scarif you played in fields of grain preparing for your manhood when you fight the Britain machine and they shut down Harry Thornton you said enough's enough 
And took it on your shoulders there, filled up with Gaelic love. Within the year commanding, the first from South Armagh, they feared your retribution. Fun 
Anakta hen savarnaf will lick an argale con vosh no sail. Lick on the shrill. Free now walk not be lay. Shall live con ee.